is 3051. Humanity has spread out amongst the stars, bringing their hopes, their fears, and their wars. The great houses and clans vie for territory and honor, using gigantic fighting machines known as battle mechs. You as a child of that conflict are about to join that war. Control Captain Adam, ready for another one? More meat for the grinder, huh? Just patch me through. Welcome, recruit, to your first taste of iron and steel. My job is to make it a little less likely for you to crash and burn the moment you step on the battlefield. Let's drop you down here where you won't get your ass shot off right away. You're sitting on top of a fusion reactor in a multi-ton war machine the size of a building. <laughs> Time to learn how to use it. This is your augmented tra- On your left, the checklist. It shows your objectives and- Have a look around your cockpit. And when you're ready, power up your battle mech. Reactor online. Sensors online. All systems nominal. So that's the complicated HUD you're looking at. And that's why we're giving you access to a field menu. Just hit escape. Here you've got buttons for game settings and such, but you can also click on HUD elements to display a field manual entry. Click away at the display to pop up more information. Hit escape again to get back in control of your battle mech. To help you learn the controls, your mech comes equipped with a cheat sheet. Press and hold F1 at any time if you need a reminder of what button does what. Try it now. Now you know where to look. Don't forget it's there. Use it. First things first, let's get that battle mech moving. A battle mech drives like a tank. The mech goes where the legs are pointing, not where you're looking. Ignore that fact and you'll find yourself jammed up wondering why you're not moving. Now, since you're a raw recruit, you get extra help to show where your legs are pointing. Look down. That arrow shows you where your legs are pointing. The mech will move in that direction. There it is. You found it. That arrow points forward for the mech, no matter where you're looking. Well, off you go. This shifts your legs so they line up with where you're looking. This brings your view over around on top of your legs and your direction of travel. You now have the basics to controlling all battle mechs. And now, let's look at your weapons. The status of each of your weapons is displayed in the lower right of your HUD. Weapons are clustered into groups that fire together when triggered. I'll just enable your weapons and off you go. Okay, you get one for free. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. My name is Captain Julius H. Adams. Those are medium lasers. You're in a simulation. Did you think I'd let you inconvenience me in any way? Small lasers have a limited range and can do a lot of damage up close. Those are short range miss. Your arms are now unlocked and can move freely. Large lasers have a lot of range, do lots of damage and generate lots of heat. Heavy and expensive too. Alpha Strike fires all weapons at once. Expect a lot of heat. Well, congratulations. I'm thoroughly convinced that, with minimal help, you seem to be fully capable of finding your own shiny brass backside. Next up, your battle grid minimap and compass. 
Make your way out of the landing zone to the next stage. That's a waypoint. The blue smoke and symbol marks it as an objective to go to. That symbol appears on your compass and battle grid minimap. Off you go. Work your way over there and run through the smoke. Don't get lost. This is your main battle grid map. You're marked as a little yellow arrowhead. The waypoint has its own icon. Right, you made it. Now let's see how well you drive that battle mech. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. Follow the arrows. And make your way through each yellow marker as fast as you can before the clock runs out. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. Congrats, recruit. You made it through. So let's see what's next on the agenda. See those pillars of light? They mark the starting point for an academy challenge. That one reruns the pilot challenge for a chance to earn any awards you missed. That one leads on to the next stage, basic targeting. Just walk into the light. Let's get you dealing with the enemy. One of the most important skills to master is targeting. Enemies appear as red arrowheads on the map and as red diamonds on the compass. Friendly forces appear in blue. That's me on your map. So go find the enemy. Enemy mechs need to be in line of sight to show up on your radar. So keep a wary eye out. New target acquired. Shortly after targeting, a detailed scan appears. Targets farther away take longer to scan. That's a boar's head atlas. A big, bad assault mech. 100 tons of bad attitude. This is the enemy's damage indicator. When you target a mech, you get a full scan of its weapons and health front and back. Each part of a battle mech has separate health and armor. Gold is full health, orange is damaged, and red means dangerously low and about to go. One way to kill a mech is by destroying its center torso. Always check your damage indicator. The center torso on this one is ready to blow. One shot may do it. Target destroyed. That's the way, but be careful. There's another battle mech behind you. Anything out of you won't show up on your map. Target acquired. 
And that's a Battlemaster Hellslinger. An 85-ton assault mech with lots and lots of weapons. The torso on this one is untouched, but a battle mech can also be taken out by destroying both legs. And by a great grand coincidence, this one has one leg gone. Shoot the other to finish it off. Two down, one to go. Find the last enemy battle mech. Target acquired. Target first, or you... Listen closely. There's another, much harder way to take out a battle mech. The cockpit is a very small part of the head. Miss, your shot just hits the torso. Get up close and see which window protects the cockpit. Target acquired. The armor on the head is gone. The cockpit is exposed and vulnerable. There's very little armor and structure on the cockpit. Does it get up close? And see which window protects the cockpit. That's all there is to it. Target, find the weak spot, kill. Of course, these ones aren't shooting back. Now here's a few more for you to practice on. Target acquired. Arms are about gone on this one. You still have to take out the center torso or legs or head. Target destroyed. Target One acquired. leg is gone. Go for the other one. Target destroyed. Target acquired. The armor on the cockpit is gone, but the vulnerable spot on most battle mechs is quite small. For the other one. Target destroyed. Target acquired. That one's hiding in the smoke. Try thermal vision to cut through the haze. Target, Target first, or you won't know what's best to shoot at. Target destroyed. Well, we're just about done here, but there's way more to learn about piloting a battle mech. We provide a playground to train and test yourself and your battle mechs. Welcome to the Mech Warrior Academy. Test weapons and battle mechs at the firing range. Survive the gauntlet. Improve your targeting skills. And try out new battle mechs.